Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you, Julio? I was ever saying. Oh, it was good. Everything was good. Okay, excellent. Uh, an easy day, right? Not not so easy, but <laughs> I, yeah. I've been working all day long. Oh. Eight hours. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now you're at con and uh, your English class. Okay, that's that's uh, that's really fantastic. Hi, Ivan. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How are you? Nice to see you again. Yeah, nice night. to see you again. A fresh um, night. Very very fresh. Yeah. So it's it's so it's hot or it's me. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of hot, right? Hi, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. How are you? Uh, were you able to download the document, uh, the presentation that I sent you with the grammar and explanation and some vocabulary over there? No Hi, teacher. Giovanni. How are you? Hello, good evening, Mr. Lopez. Good evening. Um, so far, so well. Thanks so much okay. for asking. What Great. about you? Thanks. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thanks, God. A little hot over here. <laughs> really? Wow. That's well, really yeah. curious. Well, in here, it's so cold. <laughs> no, come on. El Salvador never gets cold. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I I live in San Francisco for a couple of years, and I, I there is cold. San Francisco is kind of cold, and um, I I was always wearing a a light jacket, not a heavy one. So yeah, definitely. In comparison to USA, well, wow, no, well, <laughs> <laughs> definitely you're yeah, totally right. Yes, okay, everybody, nice to see you. Nice to see you guys. Welcome Thank back, Joselino. Welcome back, Francisco, you, Oscar, Sofia, Carla, Melissa, Jenny. Hello. And uh, we have Natalie Oscar, Oscar, and Carla Rene. Uh, were you? I was asking you if you were able to download the docu the present, the PowerPoint presentation that I sent you with the with the grammar explanations and some extra extra phrases or questions and whatever and the and the vocabulary oh you didn't see it sorry i didn't see it ah okay uh, there is an uh, on the chat um it's on the chat Uh, Mr. Lopez, yes, so I will check and confirm. You're talking about um, the presentation for the lesson uh, that we received yesterday, right? No, 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 no. It's the, one, it's the one that I sent you today. It was edited. Uh, I put it, uh, the grammar forms, explanations, and vocabulary. Um, it was, it was from, it was the one from the day before yesterday and yesterday. Yes. Okay. Not today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Thank you, Oscar. How are you doing on the on the platform, guys? Are you working on it? Are you getting a uh, advancing? Because uh, people from the company uh, sent a message that they are going to be updating the the platform and the results and everything tomorrow morning. So I guess uh, so. Please uh, work on it. <clears throat> uh, work on it.
Okay, so let's rock and roll. Are you ready? Yes, go ahead. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, by the way, yesterday I didn't go. I didn't. I didn't go to the restroom. <laughs> it was my soon. <laughs> But I was funny. I was laughing about it. Uh, you're making jokes of it. So uh, that was really nice, guys. That was really nice. Okay, so today we're going to do, uh, we're going to uh, talk about something different that we did yesterday, yesterday class. So uh, today we have session 11, if I'm not mistaken, out of the 16. Uh, yet that, that we are going to have uh, just this one tomorrow. And so with this one, we're missing six sections already. So we're on the, on the, we are on the, on unit nine, as you see, at your service. So there is the day over there. Remember that it's important to talk in the chat, to share with me. I, I, I will continue or I'm continuing uh, asking for uh, help with the cameras, please. It's really important, okay, so that I see you, uh, okay? If I ask you to write something so uh, I, I am able to see if you are really working. Uh, let me ask you one thing, um, one other thing. Uh, and this one, I will do it in Spanish. ¿Han bajado el documento del de libro? La mayoría lo tiene. Oh, okay, it would be nice that if you download it. And um, I know that you cannot type on it because it's kind of an image. But uh, at least you are able to see the exercises over there and what are we working on. So please help me with that. Download it. Okay. Uh, where, where I can download this the book that it's you're on, talking about? It's on a platform. You got the platform. Link Yes, it's on the platform. If you oh. don't, uh, let me, if you don't uh, have it, so Wait. I'll send it. How do you call the section? The section? Uh, well, I, I, I see it when, uh, in student resources. Sure. Um, uh, on the okay. book? The book? Uh, let me see if I can send it to you here. Let me see. All right. uh, okay, I can send it to you uh, through this one. Okay, let's see. To all, ah, I'm sorry. I don't. Let me. Let me give, give me a second because I don't have it on my computer. I have it on the USB. I just have. I, I just put it the class on the computer because the the hard disk of this computer is very small, but it works perfectly. Okay, let me see if I can. It's in a PDF. It's downloading right now. I send it on, on the message. Oh, someone else is sharing also. Thank you very much. Me too. Ah, okay. Thank you, Joselino. Thank you very much. Let me just close this one and get my USB out of the drive. Oh, oh, he says that I'm using it. Okay, now I. Okay. Okay, guys, so today we're going to start a topic, uh, a different topic, uh, the one that we were talking yesterday. So, as I said, and. Uh, this is uh, at your service, the unit is still at nine. But, okay, we're going to start with uh, three uh, word 
phrasal verbs, okay? Uh, what is a three word phrasal verbs? Uh huh. For example, which one? Uh, uh, which one is the one that you see on the first sentence? Broken up. Uh, uh, broken up with. Okay, so that's three words. So we have a verb and then. Letter B. The, huh? Letter B. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're going to. So we have some phrasal verbs over here. Broken up with. Come up with. Looking forward to. And cut down on. Uh, keep up with put up with, and, and so on. Those are uh, three phrasal verbs. So that is made, these three phrasal verbs are made of three, uh, like a verb, a particle, and a preposition. So you have a particle, a verb is, is broke. I mean break, which is broken in the past participle. And up is the, the, the particle and with is the preposition or, or, or the, yeah, the preposition. So, and someone says that is letter B. What does this mean? Uh-huh, what it doesn't mean. Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. When somebody finishes uh, a relationship, uh-huh, when somebody finishes a relationship, yes, ended up with that. So poor Jennifer, eh? uh, he ended up, uh, he ends a, rom a romantic relationship with her boyfriend. So that's, that's a uh, letter B like uh, someone said. Okay, so, and that's uh, have and the meaning of break, a break up with. You already did? Okay, so that's that's someone over there. Okay, so he has broken over there. Uh-huh. And what is Kevin came up with a great idea for our class reunion? The age teacher. Uh-huh. What is age? What is age? Uh -huh. Think uh, think of something develop, develop, and an idea. Okay, uh, good, excellent. <clears throat> uh, sorry about my my throat is killing me again. Okay, so what will be? What is number three? Uh, Carla Selena, uh, help me reading number three. Okay, I'm not looking forward to typing my essay. Essay, essay. Essay. Maybe I, I get getting done professionally. Yes, professionally. Good. So, uh, looking forward to what it will be. Eight. Uh huh. Letter H. And what is letter A? Be excited for something to happen. Uh, be excited for something to happen. Okay. So typing on an, an, an my essay, maybe I'll get it done professionally. Uh huh. And the other one, number four, uh, Carla Rene, help me reading number four. My doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty foods. Yes, I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty foods. And what will be the meaning of it? Maybe little b. E. Uh huh. May uh huh. Uh, later e. And what is? I'm sorry. Could you say the meaning? Uh, I guess it, I don't know who was it. 
It was uh, Raul, Francisco, or someone saying the, the meaning? So that's to reduce the, reduce quantity. the quantity of something. Of uh, something, okay. Of uh, the things that you um, that you eat, yes. And uh, let's see, uh, uh, Luis Eduardo, help me with number five. Raul can keep up with the students in his Mandarin class. He shall get a tutor. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Lee. Uh huh. Uh, Bob can keep up with the students in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. And that will be uh, give up, uh, no, keep up with. Keep up with. Letter C? Uh huh. What's letter C, Luis? Letter C. And what's letter C? Could you read it? Could you read the phrase or say the phrase? He pays with someone or something. Something. Yes, uh, exactly. Keep pace with someone or something. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, what is keep pace? Anybody can can answer. Keep pace. Como As, mantener el ritmo, teacher. Yeah, what about in English? What will be in English? That's that's exactly that's it. That's the 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 meaning of it. Take it easy. Uh -huh. Like when the, when the people is quiet, teacher. Ah, okay. When the people is quiet, no. But the Spanish meaning that you say, that someone said over there, it was the correct one. So keep the pace means it's like going side by side, okay? At the same, how can I say? At the same rhythm. Uh -huh, rhythm. Yeah, so exactly. Can, can I say it, teacher? Can I say uh -huh. it this, uh, this way? Well, for example, it could be to, to keep the same flow as everybody or? Yeah, or, I guess so. Uh, mm -hmm. Me, you're going to, uh, together. At the same, okay. at the same uh, time, you're going together. No one is going uh, forward. No guy is going backward. So you're like, you know, the like a race. You keep together to the other guy. Okay, uh, number six, uh, Hector Perez. Help me with number six. I can't put up with the noise on my strip. I have to move. Uh-huh, I can't put up with the noise. With the letter noise. Letter E, teacher. I know letter D, pardon. So uh, le letter D? Yes. And what's letter D? Tolerance something you don't like. Yeah, tolerate something that you don't like. Definitely. Okay. And, and sometimes the noises on the street are very awful. So it's very awful. So you, you get desperate or something. But you need to be tolerant as well, okay? Okay, so let's see the the ones that are, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, okay. Uh, Xiomara, help me with uh, number seven. And my girlfriend doesn't get along with her roommate. Mm -hmm. They are always fighting. They always fight. Why do they? Why are they living together if they always fight? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. And what would be the what would be the the, the meaning of uh, get along with? Have a good relationship with someone. And have a good relation with someone. Yes. Okay. So, for example, I would say I will talk about me that I don't like it. I I, I have a good. Uh, I get along with my students very well, okay? It, it's not because I let them to do whatever they, they want, no, okay? Because I treat them very well, so they accept me, but they they know that 
I'm very demanding on, on with them. So that's have a good relationship with people. And do you believe that we should have a good relationship with people? Do you believe it's so? It's possible. Uh huh. And why we should keep up a good relation with people? I think it's very difficult, teacher. Yeah, sometimes because it is. Because if there's not respect to each other, uh, this won't work very well. Ah, okay. So, yeah, sometimes it's, it's kind of difficult, but you know uh, what, Simona? We should learn to. Yes, uh, uh, but sometimes I know what do you what do you mean. It's kind of difficult, but we should uh, uh, try to. Okay, and neither very with good. the family. Huh? <laughs> neither with the family. Even with the family, sometimes happen. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. And the last one I'll see. I'll go running at the end of the the uh, Sophia Elizabeth. Could you help me with the last one? Sophie, Sophie Elizabeth Perez, help me with the last one. Uh, Neptali, could you help me with the last one? Okay, sure. Uh -huh. Bill can take care of his own finances. Uh, he finances. has an accountant finances. He has an accountant manage his money. Uh huh. Uh, take care of. Remember that that word is not off. Off is when you turn the switch off, or you turn it on, and then you have to turn it off. That word is of of with your upper lips going uh over the down lead. Uh huh. And what is saying? What will be like that one? Well, what is the meaning? Okay. Uh huh. And what is it? Be responsible for some. Uh huh. Be responsible for something. Take care of, okay? You got to be uh, responsible with family, with pets, if you look at, with your job, with your English classes, with my English classes as a teacher, as a facilitator, a counselor, whatever you wanted to call it. So be responsible for something, okay? Or the babies, I mean. And for, uh, things that you got over there. So those are some phrasal verbs, uh, three words. And there are others, a two word phrasal verb, three word phrasal verb. So in this case, we're looking a little bit about this one, okay? Uh, three parts phrasal verb have different meaning, okay? Why do they have different meaning? As individual. Why do they have different meaning? For example, what is the first uh, the first uh, uh, verb on the first sentence? Break. Break. Okay. As a as a verb, as a single verb, it has one meaning. But uh, with with a particle and with a preposition, it has they do have different meaning, like the meaning that you have over there, and and a relation, a romantic relationship, okay? It's not just a romantic, or it's just a romantic. In the most of time, it can be in a romantic relationship, but it can be applied with uh, any relation, uh, like a friend. Uh, exactly. Uh, some family, families, uh, friends, co-workers, uh, 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 different people. Yeah, it's, it's uh, 
Usually people refer to this one as a as a breakup with some in a romantic uh, way. Like a couple, yes. Yes, like a couple, exactly. Thank you very much. Like a couple, but it can be, with, uh, you know, if you have a good friend, a friend of yours, and then you suddenly break up, uh, uh, broken up your relation with this person. So it means it's, it's ending. Okay, so when we talk about this one, we talk about uh, they have different meaning as individual. Other three phrases of verse that you can think of it. What other uh, phrase of verse uh, uh, do we have? Can you think of some others? Take off. Huh? Take off. Take off. Okay. How many Get words? Up. Uh -huh. how, but how, yes, get up. Get up. Uh -huh. get Stand up. up. Stand up. But yes. how many words oh. are there? How many how many words are there? Are there three or two? Two teacher. Ah, two, two. teacher. We have a we have a verb and a particle, but we are missing the what are we missing over there? With Aha, uh -huh, the preposition with, to, uh, and some others that slip on mind. So, uh, so there, there are, that's why there are called two uh, word phrasal verbs that are get up, uh, go on, uh, break up, and sure. what else? Huh? Sure. For example, in my case, I was. I was uh, watching on a news TV that someone was describing an uh, an event. Uh, he he said, uh, for example, he said people jump out, and also uh, he was talking about you know that people jump out from a very high uh, building to the, ah. to the to to the ground, and they they also said they jump jump off off. They use it with uh, with off and. And you know why do they use it with, with uh, two different uh, complements? Yes. And the the first one that you say was uh, jump up from. So we have a three word uh, uh, phrasal verb over there. Why? We have a verb, we have a particle, and then we have a preposition. This is the the, the word order that I was going to talk. You adverb and you know look. And the other that you mentioned, it was only two, right? No, say it again. The other, that the, other I mean, that, the second one that you mentioned, it was only two, two words. Or two correct, words. it was jump up. Uh -huh. Jump up, jump up <laughs> means uh, from a surface, you jump up and you, uh -huh. you know, I don't want to uh, yeah. imagine Did what's happening. the same meaning? Uh, no, though they have no. the, the different meaning. Uh, with a preposition, they have one meaning in, uh, with just the base verb and an adverb particle, with, which is of, I know, of is, is the, the preposition. Teacher. Yes? Uh, what about uh, get on with? Get, get on with oui. uh -huh. uh -huh. that's that's a three word phrase or verb it has a verb on with the uh, phrase uh so that's that's different so break up that's uh three the ones that we're studying so th but there are more verbs well actually there are a lot of uh, phrase or verbs uh uh some of uh, uh some of them i would say some of them are two words and some of others are three words. I mean, a, a verb, a particle, and a preposition. So for example, break up. Look over there, uh, the, I think some of these uh, phrasal verbs are uh, over there. For, ex for example, the first one is? Put up with. Uh, uh -huh, put out with, and we see, and we saw it on the previous list, right? Yeah. Which is tolerate something you don't like. There is Kakamsa. I can't put out with his drinking anymore. So I don't like uh, that this guy is drinking too much. 
and I can I can't put up with. Okay. And then the other one. What is the other one? Cut down. Cut down. And what is cut down? Reduce the quantity? Yeah, reduce something. the quantity or something. Uh we, we saw an example of in the in the previous slide. So and what did the doctor usually the doctor goes like what? The doctor told him to put that put down uh, his mocking. Oh uh, his mocking, right. So I mean the doctor suggested over the, uh, this guy to stop smoking. Not anymore because it will be and break up is over there with and then a romantic uh a romantic relationship. Uh she broke out with her boyfriends last week. And Check. yes. What is the best pronunciation the cut up for that? Uh which one? A uh, cut down? Cut. The uh, best Pronunciation yeah. is cut. cut uh -huh. down. The cut. As bird is cut, is to cortar. Yes, cut. Okay. Yes. But no, cut good. down is to good. reduce. <laughs> uh -huh. Cut down is to reduce or something. Or, or well, uh, like the doctor said to reduce the smoking, but the meaning of the sentence may be it can be stop smoking because you know that uh, smoke is. is a bad habit for your health, okay? So maybe the the the, the spirit of the sentence at, or the doctor, it was, hey, Mr. Lopez, you better stop smoking, okay? So, but you know, as como verbo, they have one meaning, but uh, as, a, as a phrasal verbs have different meaning. And the other is look uh, toward two. Forward, I'm sorry, forward, forward. I share one question. Yes. For example, for, example, for, the, for the American, uh, when, let's say when the doctor uh, told you, uh, cut down on uh, eating junk food, as, as you just said, it means that uh, to uh, stop eating it or, or to reduce the quantity or something. Uh, well, if you're not, your health is not that good, the, the meaning of the sentence will be stop eating it. Oh. But uh, the doctor say uh, it depends on your point of view or your idea when you receive the message. Okay. Ah, the doctor says, uh, well, they should come different things that the doctor look. Uh, this is you have diabetes, your uh, sugar levels are so high. Your uh, high pressure is so bad that it happened to me. <laughs> it's, so it's uh, and then it, maybe the spirit of this of the phrase will be uh, stop it, okay? But you can okay. just or uh, it depends on on depends on, the not, uh, on the receiver, not on the uh, on the speaker. It's it really oh. depends on the receiver. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep up okay. with. Keep okay. Uh, pace with something or someone. Creo que son los mismos que están allá. Eh? Yo solo los extiendo. Okay, get along with. We already discussed that. Okay. So those are some things that uh, some uh, phrasal verbs that we, they are very uh, useful, uh, useful. No, they, they, they are very common phrase uh, words that we can use. Okay. Uh-huh. So that's the thing about a phrase or verse. So there is not a key over there. Uh, uh, can someone think another one? Get over it. Huh? Get over? Teacher, no, teacher have you heard about uh, this? Get, get over, yes. Uh -huh. Get away with? Get away with good. Okay, get away with. And what would it be? Going. Get away with. Yeah. To to live for, from a place to another, like yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, with someone else, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Or, or with something. Else. 
<laughs> exactly. Thank you so much. Good. Uh -huh. And who who had another suggestion or? Teacher, for example, have you heard about this? Uh, what's the, the opposite of, uh, for example, when you're going to, let's say you go to the mountain, I don't know if you can say you climb, uh, you're climbing up the mountain. Uh, but yes. if, you, if, you, if you want to go down from, from a wall, uh, can you say to climb down or, uh, or no. if you have here uh, to shim down, shim it down? That's a good question. You can say climb up and climb down. Okay. For example, I I can climb the chair where I am. So I I I oops. I go like this. I climb it. I get on the chair, and then uh, maybe my wife will come and say, "Hey, man, climb down from the chair." Okay. So it's it's acceptable. No problem. If there's another common for me, I have heard many times is uh, face up to. Uh -huh. to face to up. face something, a problem or a trouble, we have to face up to that problem. For uh, is face up or face on? Face up to. Face up. Ah, okay, good. Big. Uh huh. Face it up. Yeah. Okay. To to what? To go straight, not to run from the situation, right? Exactly. That's what yeah. I. That is. In, uh -huh. to 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 go straight to the situation and solve it and not to run away yes okay so that's that's something that's uh, the thing over there so we're going to see this phrase or verse so on on this conversation what is the conversation uh i need i need a date what is a date What is it? Ah, cita. <laughs> Una cita. And uh, what about in English? It's a an date. appointment. <laughs> date. <laughs> ah? Yeah, Giovanni? Uh, yeah, yes, yes, I was going to say that it's an appointment with someone that is. Yeah. Um, but appointment that... uh, is more related with a doctor. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's well, it's like, yeah, he referring to that in order to say that, but uh, yes, it's a, a to go out with someone as a, maybe as a friend, as a romantic relation. So have to a meet date someone. on, yeah, to have in a, a, in a romantic place. <laughs> in a romantic place and in a romantic relation. Okay, so. Uh, look at this. Uh, look at this pic. Oh, I, at the picture. And well, I I would like uh, everybody answer this question. The first question: How old are the two men? Write it. Can you write it in the chat? On the chat, please. How old do you see? Uh, do you think these men are? Ah, catch up. <laughs> yes, fix fix it up. Yes, that's a uh, good Oscar. Thank you. Fix it up. I was trying to fix it up my soon uh, last class that uh, <laughs> last night. Okay. How old do you think these men are? Please write it, everybody, including the ones that are not helping me with the cameras. Please help me with the cameras, guys. I got just one. Uh, okay, give me the, uh -huh, about, uh, uh -huh, okay, okay. And, uh, ah, okay, yes, I know, Marlene. No, who's, yes. Okay, maybe. Okay, that's good that you use the word maybe because we are not sure, okay? When we are not sure, we say, oh, maybe this is, that has happened. They're about 17 years old, about 17, good, excellent, Carla, Selena, good. Jorge, maybe they are, um, uh, they are 30 years old, yes. 
Okay. Okay. Maybe they are. They look very young. And C Catherine Lisbeth, what do you think? Can you talk to me? Can you talk to us? Catherine Lisbeth Espinosa, what do you think? Okay. Please talk to me. Have they been, what have they been doing? Write your answers, please. What have they been doing? Look at them. Look at the place. Ah, ah, okay. Ah, okay, good. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, maybe. Okay. Yeah, and uh, perhaps they have, uh, okay, perhaps. Uh -huh. uh, that's another good word. Word when you're not sure about it. Uh, maybe in the gym. Okay, uh, you see that they are, may, they might be at the gym, okay. And, and someone says, perhaps they are entering to the gym. Yeah, because you see the, the tools over here. Ah, probably they were playing some sport. Okay, good. Are they friends? And why do you think if he, if you think they are friends, why why do you think they are friends? I think they are they are friends because they are talking very friendly. <laughs> okay, they are talking in a friendly way. <laughs> okay. But one of them looks uh, kind of worried. <laughs> he looks kind of worried. Okay, but maybe they are friends. Okay, so let's see. Okay, uh, without I presented the the conversation, let's listen to it. Let's see what's happening. Page 61, exercise eight, conversation. Let me, let me upload the, the sound. A little bit more that you station. I need a date. Part A. Listen and practice. This is so depressing. I haven't had a date since Angela broke up with me. What can I do? What about looking through the personal <laughs> ads on the internet? That's how I met Amy. Actually, I've tried that. But the people you meet are always different from what you expect. Well, why don't you join an online dating service? A friend of mine met his wife that way. That's not a bad idea. Also, it might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. Yeah, if I don't meet someone, at least I might find a good book. Okay, listen again. Oops, let me go back with this. Page 61, exercise eight, conversation. I need a date. Part A, listen and practice. This is so depressing. I haven't had a date since Angela broke up with me. What can I do? What about looking through the personal ads on the internet? That's how I met Amy. Actually, I've tried that. But the people you meet are always different from what you expect. Well, why don't you join an online dating service? A friend of mine met his wife that way. That's not a bad idea. Also, it might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. Yeah, if I don't meet someone, at least I might find a good book. Okay, guys. Do you do, can you do me a favor? In your own words, in a few words, describe the, the situation and the conversation on the chat. In English? Yes, in English. <laughs> in your own words, in a few words. Don't say the complete sentences. Uh, you're not, I, I'm not asking you to write an essay. Just uh, 
in your own words. Okay, please try. Remember that we are learning. We are not expert on the on the language. Describe the words. Describe the situation in a, in a conversation, please. Uh huh. And say what is the situation with the guy that is uh, looks uh, worried, and what are the suggestions with the other guy? Mm hmm. Uh, okay, thank you. A friend is asking to help because, uh, okay, good. Great, fantastic, okay. I got a few, but I hope the next time everybody uh, gets over there. You know, the good thing is that I, if I open it, uh, I, we can read later on your messages. One of the guys is depressing because of he haven't had a day since he broke up with her uh, girlfriend. A friend is asking help because he had a problem. Good, excellent. One of them is worried because uh, it doesn't have a girlfriend since I broke up with uh, her. He asked for advice to meet other, okay, other, other women, other women. Yes, one of them is uh, desperate. Yeah, we can use that word too uh, because it hasn't had a day since. Uh, good. Hey, congratulations. Yep, that's still happening over there. So congratulations. Ooh, I got a lot of. You can check out and discussion group of the uh, <laughs> the bookstore. <laughs> okay, okay, good. So this is yes, exactly. That's happening on the conversation over there. So let's see. Now let's uh, listen and read. Page sixty one, exercise eight. Conversation. I need a date. Part A. Listen and practice. This is so depressing. I haven't had a date since Angela broke up with me. What can I do? What about looking through the personal ads on the internet? That's how I met Amy. Actually, I've tried that. But the people you meet are always different from what you expect. Well, why don't you join an online dating service? A friend of mine met his wife that way. That's not a bad idea. Also, it might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. Yeah, if I don't meet someone, at least I might find a good book. Okay, good. So you were saying basically the conversation and your and the line on the li lines that you wrote on the chat. Good, excellent, but. Okay, so he's, uh, you know, uh, he's very worried about it, okay? And, um, okay, this is some vocabulary from the conversation, out oh, from the conversation that might be very useful. One of the, uh, it says, what is the first one? Personal? Uh huh. Personal uh, ad. And where do you have your personal ad? And what is it? A newspaper ad with a brief description of a person's hobbies, interests, physical characteristics, a person mm -hmm. characteristic, a person interested in a date, can they go? 
Yes, so uh, over here is of description of a person. Okay, yes. Okay, that's that's a that's an ad in the newspaper. Well, I think you can have those kind of ad on 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 online as well. Okay, but the only thing is that you have to be careful. But there are child groups that dedicate those. And the other one is. Dating service. Dating, dating service. service. And what is a dating service? A company that matches people up for a fee. For a fee, okay, for uh, to get together. Uh, uh, and you have to pay, I think fee that is that you have to pay something. It's not, uh, dating services are not free, okay? So that's what I understand. I never been there over there and I, I don't hope that I, going to be there okay so and um, and the other one is uh-huh check out check out find out find, find out, out about something about something yes okay i'm looking for my oh uh, just check out over there okay so these are uh, some useful uh, words that might be helpful from the conversation over there. Okay. Uh, the conversation, it says, I need a date. Just one question. Yes. Uh, tell me, Oscar. Or Ivan, who was Just it? one question. Uh-huh. Yes, Oscar? Can you hear me? I have a yes. question. Yes, yes. In this uh, part, we... in, in this part, the personal ad in, in, in. uh-huh we lost you i lost the connection but i'm back i'm back ah, okay okay that says a person interested in a day that then call is is that part correct which Come one in call in the part that says king then call is that ah, like correct? Does it make sense? Doesn't make sense, right? No, I, I think it's uh them with uh M. Okay. Oh. Uh a person interested and uh, they can uh ah then call entonces llamar. So I'm sorry my Spanglish. <laughs> entonces llamar. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's that's the meaning of it. It's not a mistake over there. It's a, the mistakes is over here. All the, uh -huh. it's up. Okay, so that was it. Uh, yeah, it's correct. After, uh -huh. after the call. Yes. Uh huh. And then call. Okay. So you. Um. That's the thing. Okay. Making suggestions. Here we are. Okay. Uh, play the audio, have the students listen. Okay, so, and then repeat. I got my notes over there. Uh, listen to the questions. How are you making suggestions? Okay, making suggestions when uh, something happens. Page 61, exercise nine. Grammar focus, making suggestions with gerunds. What about looking through the personal ads? Have you thought about joining an online dating service? With infinitives. It might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. One thing you could do is go to a discussion group at the bookstore. One thing you could do is to go to a discussion group at the bookstore. With modals plus verbs. Maybe you could go to a chat room on the internet. With negative questions. Why don't you join a dating service? That's the easy one. Okay, now guys, so it says, I'm going to play the audio again. I will make a pause. And you read and repeat the, the phrases or the questions or the suggestions, okay? But don't turn on the out at the microphone. Just do it behind the uh, microphone, okay? I anyway, I can see the ones that cameras on. If you are doing the ones with no cameras, please do it. It's really important, okay? Ready? 
Yes. Okay. Page 61. Exercise 9. Grammar focus. Making suggestions. With gerunds. What about looking through the personal ads? Repeat. What about, what about looking about through, the through the personal ads? ads? Have you thought about joining an online dating service? Have you thought about, about, about joining? Join. Joining. With infinitives. It might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. It might, might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. One thing you could do is go to a discussion group at the bookstore. One what thing you could do is go to a discussion group at the bookstore. Thing you could do is to go to a discussion group at the bookstore. With modals plus verbs. Maybe you could go to a chat room on the internet. Maybe, maybe you could, maybe you could, you go, could go to a, a chat, chat room, room on, on the room internet. On the internet. Yeah. With negative questions. Why don't you join a dating service? Why don't, Why don't you join, you join a join dating, dating service? service? I don't think you a dating service. This is the easy one, and the last one is the easy one, and it's the most common. Why don't you call her? Why don't you apologize to her? Why don't you try to fix uh, your, uh, your situation with her? That's the easy one, and that's the most popular uh, suggestion that we have. Okay, but as you see, we, uh, we are trying to increase our vocabulary, our English level. So we are learning with other um, different ways that we can uh, make suggestions. Okay, but the last one, the last one, why don't you, it's the most popular. Why don't you join her? Why don't you apologize to her? Why don't you offer... Uh, uh something etc 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 so that's that's uh making uh, things over there let's see how is this okay ways of making or giving advice this is look we can say how about we can say what about we can say have you thought about last year and for example this is the example on the on, on the on the on the chart over there. What is the example? What about looking through the personal ads? Or you can say, how about looking through the personal ads? Or you can use the other one. Have you thought about joining a, a dating group? So these are the, the 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 word order that I'm that I'm that I'm. Uh, if you cannot take uh, not so far as don't worry. So oops, my God, the time is running. Okay, I have to. Um, uh, I will just have like like three minutes, and I need to take the attendance. Okay, the other is I. It might be a good idea or one thing. Those are the examples. It might be a good idea to check on those discussion groups. Uh, and the other is one thing you could do is to check up on the discussion groups. The other one, well, uh, the time is running, guys, so we will stop here. And um, because I need to take the attendance list, okay? And And these are the examples over there. But I don't worry, we'll 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 go over this tomorrow very quickly and do the exercises. Let me take the attendance list. Uh, Ana Ivania Guerra uh, Guevara. 
Ana. Eh, Daniel Alex, Alejandro Llanes. Am I on the correct list? Yes. Daniel. Eduardo José Melgar. Present. Here. Eh, Francisco Antonio Calderón. I'm here, mister. Uh, Gabriel José Hernández López. Gabriel. Eh, Giovanni Stanley. I'm here. Héctor Iván Pérez. Eh, Iván Ibrahim Ramírez. Present, teacher. Eh, Janet Carolina Rivera. Janet Carolina Rivera. Jorge Alberto Rivera. Present, teacher. Eh, José Lino Alvarenga. Here, Julio César Campos. Present, Mr. Carla Selena Hernández. Present, teacher. Carla René Delgado. Present, teacher. Catherine Lisbeth Espinosa Rodríguez. Catherine. Okay. Eh. Luis. Present. Oh, hold on. Something happened. Eh, Carla René Delgado was there. Yes, teacher. And Catherine Lisbeth Espinosa. Yes, teacher. Present. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, Luis, you're there, right? Marlene Elizabeth Valle. Marlene, eh, Melissa Stephanie Linares, present. Marlene, eh. present. Ah, okay, Marlene, thank you. Eh, Michelle Beatriz Díaz, present. Eh, Neptali Antonio Mejía, Neptali. Uh, Oscar Alexander San Santana. Oscar. Eh, Oscar Abdulio. Present Ama teacher. Amador. Eh, Present. Romeo Vladimir Rosales. Present. Eh, Sara El eh, Elisa Belloso. Sara. Sofía Elizabeth Pérez. Present. Eh, Wendy Paola López. Wendy. She wrote on the chat. Uh -huh. Oh, she wrote on the chat. On the chat. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you for helping with that. Eh, Xiomara Violeta. Y, Present. Y Jenny Carolina. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you tomorrow at the same channel. Have a good night. Sleep yeah. well. Yeah. Have a good night. Bye, everyone. Bye.